Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and we are going to be trying the new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse and a couple of other monthly specials that they got going on. And then on top of all that, I have reservations at Summer House on the Lake to try their brunch, which everyone says is the best brunch in Disney World now. And they have a giant cinnamon roll that everyone's been talking about. So I'm so excited to go eat there and show you guys. And I figured today would be the perfect day. So we're going to eat some cookies do some shopping and have a beautiful disney springs kind of day anywho's let's go do this it is such a beautiful day today here at disney springs the temperatures are in the 80s it's starting to get warmer in florida and i'm excited to hang out and try some snacks with you guys it is officially March, so it is Woman's History Month, and Disney Springs is celebrating her with a couple of really fancy snacks and delicious-looking food items all around the springs. And I'd love to try some of them or at least show you guys because some of the stuff looks great, and I kind of just want to hang out and just mingle around the springs for a little bit. A nice afternoon. Afternoon in Disney Springs. <laughs> We're gonna make our way over to Gideon's to see what the wait time is like. It's probably gonna be either a standby or a virtual queue. Either way, I'm okay with because we have other things to do today. But look at, I keep on stopping at the springs to look at them. <laughs> Brunch isn't going to be until later on, uh, but I do have to like do some shopping. I know I have to get Gracie some more pup cakes, and I want to go walk around uh, the world of Disney and uh, the other store that's next to it that sells some of the fancy artwork. And also, I got to make a stop at Goofy's Candy Kitchen uh, because I want to make a little cake pop. They have a build your own cake pop here at Goofy's Candy Kitchen where you can create your own, and I thought it'd be cool to show you guys. We're gonna dive right on in and make our way into Gideon's. Here is a look at the menu for the month of March. I love the character on front there. And uh, you can see they actually have uh, the exclusive uh, cookie for March. Looks like it's gonna be a peanut butter chocolate swirl. I like that. And then they also have a dark mocha nitro cold brew only for March. So I think we'll get them both, a cookie and a coffee. You gotta do the best. I came here for the cookie of the month, but they have the early morning cookie, the coffee cake cookie, which I always seem to miss whenever I come. So this might be a double cookie review. We might get the chocolate peanut butter swirl, which is the cookie of the month for March, and the coffee cake, because I think this comes off the menu like sometime during the day. I'm excited. Oh, and the cake slices look pretty good too. Look at that. I love it inside Gideon's. We have obtained the goods. And I did get the coffee cake uh, cookie because I can't normally get it. It doesn't go away like at a certain time. They just sell it until it's sold out. It's available every single morning, but you gotta be here in the morning. And let's just get into it. Let me show you guys these cookies. First, I don't know which one this is. Ah, uh, it's the monthly cookie. It's the peanut butter chocolate swirl. Look at that. Holy moly. Can you see the peanut butter chips and the chocolate chips? Let me see, I don't know if it's focusing in on it. Yeah, there you go. Peanut butter and chocolate, and then look at the back there, the little swirl. That is a good looking cookie. So, let's just crack into it. You gotta break the cookie. You can actually see the swirl in there, look at that. Swirls of magic. All right, here we go. Mm. I appreciate that it's not overly peanut butter. You know what I mean? It's got a nice swirl in there, and I love the combination of the chips on top. It's very good, very soft. I like it. It's a very good cookie. It's not like one of my favorite cookies, only because there's so many great cookies, uh, but I feel like you can't go wrong with it, especially if you're a peanut butter fan. You know what I mean? This is a good, good, good cookie. So I packed up my cookie because I wanted to save the other half of the cookie and I did this and look at I kind of like made a whole fresh cookie again it looks like it's back to normal doesn't it isn't that crazy you can see like that little tiny piece that's missing there but you just press it together and uh bada bing look at that that's kind of a cool trick now it's time for the bonus cookie review the coffee cake cookie 
This is uh, always on the menu. It's not a special, but it's only for the morning. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? Oh, man. You know, honestly, I was talking to a family inside Gideon's, uh, and they asked me, like, what my favorite cookies are. And, like, all of the specialty cookies of the month, like, I can't put those as my favorite cookies only because uh, they're not they're on the menu. They're not available. So my two favorite cookies that are available all the time at Gideon's, not a monthly special, are the banana bread ones, the banana bread cookie, and then the cookies and cream. They're always available, always amazing. And now maybe this one. You know what I mean? You never know, but you just got to be there early in the morning. So I'm going to break into this coffee cake cookie. Coffee cake cookie. Oh. And then, of course, we got to wash it down with coffee. If you ever get a chance to try this morning coffee cake cookie, definitely do it. It is so delicious. So flavorful, too. I got a little chocolate chip on my finger there. The cookie business is a messy business, I can tell you that. But I love the coffee cake. I love my camera, too. It's so fancy. It just did a spin of Rui. Did you see that? A little spin of Rui. I always forget a straw, but look how frothy this coffee is. I won't spill any. I gotta save it from my coffee cake. You could literally dunk this in here. Look at this. Oh. Now that the cookie business is taken care of, I'm gonna drink my coffee for a little bit. I put the, the rest of the cookies back in the bag so I can save them for later and uh, snack on them at my leisure. Uh, but now I gotta go get a pup cakes for Gracie and then I wanna just do a quick run through of World of Disney before making our way down to Summer House on the Lake. I feel so fancy with this coffee right now. It's a beautiful day. Got a nice boat behind me. The empty cars are driving in the water. Look at this. Whew. I'm just sitting out here enjoying my coffee and all this beautifulness is happening. I love it. I love Disney Springs. And where's he riding so low? They see me rolling, they hating, patrolling and trying to catch me riding so low, trying to catch me riding so low. Both of those cookies are good, but honestly, I think I love the coffee cake one better. I love that. It's going to be probably my top three. My top three regular cookies at Gideon's go as followed. Banana bread, cookies and cream, and then the coffee cake cookie. As the regular cookies there. That does not count the monthly specials. Uh, but yeah, the good combination of dipping it in the coffee. A coffee cake cookie dipped in the coffee. Kind of like a little tongue twister. Uh, but yeah, that's enough of the cookie business. Time to make our way up to uh, World of Disney. I usually compare cookies with Summer House on the Lake, but they have no cookie specials this month. So uh, I'm not going to compare anything, but we are going to have brunch there. And I already mentioned the giant cinnamon roll, uh, but I'll See what else they have but i'm afraid of eating too much like i've already had two cookies and uh you know there's other things i want to check out like uh like the stuff that they're doing for uh women's national history month uh but i noticed that some of the uh items aren't available yet it's kind of like a delayed thing so we'll see what we can find if not i guess we'll just browse around world of disney look for fancy stuff oh oh and look at my shirt you guys see this uh, uh lady in the tramp this is a roosevelt look how cool this is i don't know why i didn't wear this to magic kingdom when i decided to wear it to disney springs but i could wear it twice we're gonna make our way into World of Disney, but I wanted to show you uh, the cake that they have for uh, the month here at Amaretz. And it's in honor of Women's History Month and celebrate her story. And it's inspired by pastry assistant chew chef Riley. Look at that. Layers of vanilla chiffon, cr cinnamon cream cheese mousse, bourbon caramel mousse, and salted praline crunch, $22. Look at that. I love that. Amaretz always has good cakes, and I always point it out, but I'm already two cookies in, so a cake won't help, especially if we're having brunch later. Do you remember the days when you can only walk in one way of World of Disney? One way was an exit, one way was an entrance. Gone are those days. They have 50% off select Disney items. That's a pretty cool deal. Look, look at this, the Walt Disney Productions. Usually $125. This will be $75 or even less, actually. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. Because you can still get your annual pass discount on those. Oh. 
Oh, should we get crazy? A uh, spirit jersey? I think all they have is large. I've been on a hunt for this really cool vintage looking quarter zip, but I can't find it anywhere. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's Spider-Man. I'm looking for quarter zips. I don't see it though. Scusi, do you have the blue quarter zip by any chance? The Mickey and Friends yeah. one? Yeah. We are completely out of it. Man. Right now. I've been looking everywhere for yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> the last I saw, like, they're mostly just, like, smalls and extra smalls in, like, all the locations right oh. now. Yeah, they've been out for a little while. Hopefully one day. She knew exactly what quarter zip I was talking about, so that means there's multiple people looking for this. I don't think I'm going to get it. Sold out everywhere. They'll restock eventually, and then the hype will be down, but... I just want it because it looks so pretty. It's like a, a quarter zip. I get only quarter zips. I only learned that word recently, so I'm like, uh, I like to use it a lot now. Uh, but uh, it's got all of Mickey and his friends, and it's got like the black and white, like the stripes. It's very awesome, but too awesome. We're going to move along to Goofy's Candy Company so I can show you the uh, build a cake pop. It's kind of really cool. It's been around for... I think a little while, but uh, I just recently discovered it, so I wanted to show it to you guys. There it is. Goofy's Candy Company. I always confuse it with Goofy's Kitchen. Sometimes, or you probably actually heard me say Goofy's Candy Kitchen, but it's Goofy's Candy Company, a mix between Goofy's Kitchen and Disneyland and Goofy's Candy Company here. Here it is. All you do is you grab uh, one of the cards and you fill it out and then you hand it over to them and they make your own dessert for you. So we're going to do a red velvet cake pop with milk chocolate and uh, let's do graham cracker crumbs. I like it. And then you just hand it in and then they come over and they make it for you. Look at that. Custom. A custom little snack. The best thing is, is you can get anything you want. You can get a Rice Krispie treat, a cake pop, and if you get a cake pop, the ears are actually marshmallows, and then they dip them in all of these toppings, and you can get as many toppings as you want, but it costs a dollar extra. So I might switch up my graham cracker crumbs for Butterfinger crumbs. I like Butterfinger. Nobody better lay a finger on my Butterfinger. Once it's ready, they'll give it to you just like this. Look at that. Fancy, right? And then you can save your little sheet and bada bing. I'm gonna save it for later. I don't wanna eat it though. You know, I'm gonna keep it in my little bag with all my other snacks. Put it in there with all the other cookies. Cookies and cake snacks. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but the cake pop is only like $6.17. It's a nice little treat. You know what I mean? And it's fun because you can customize it and make it a little personable. Definitely good for the kiddos. and. Even me. <laughs> we have made our way down to Summer House on the lake, and I'm hoping that we can actually sit outside because look at how beautiful like the outside seating is. They actually have a nice view of the Ampia cars and the uh, balloon up in the sky there. Look, it's all the way up there. And then here is a look at the menu. Like I mentioned, we're going to be having brunch here. And brunch is only on the weekends from like 9 to 2. And they've got that giant uh, cinnamon roll that everyone's talking about. Look at that. $17.95. Blueberries, lemon zest, and cream cheese frosting. And then they've got light and crispy strawberry waffles. They've got uh, fluffy buttermilk pancakes, blueberry pancakes, burritos, short rib hash, a lot of good items. And I've never eaten any brunch here, but I'm a brunch guy. I like brunch. I like breakfast and I like lunch. Put them together and you got lunch bub. Lunch bub. <laughs> It is so pretty sitting out on the front porch. I've never done this before. I love sitting on the front patio because you get to see more like foot traffic. People going in the movie theater, going to Splitville. And I started with a little iced coffee. And I like it. Comes with a little like fancy cup. Not much room for cream though. There we go. Oh, that's kind of pretty. When they advertise a giant cinnamon roll, they ain't joking. Holy moly, like this is huge. It looks so good too. I cannot wait to dive into it. It's almost the size of my head. Like no joke, I hope I don't make a mess. But look at that. It's a giant size cinnamon roll. 
this cinnamon roll is so impressive because it's fresh blueberry swirl, candied lemon zest, house-made cream cheese frosting for $17.95. Definitely big enough to split between two or three people or one hungry vlogger YouTube person. <laughs> the cinnamon roll is so pretty. I kind of don't want to cut into it, but I think we're going to have to go in for it here. Maybe right down the center. Oh my lord, look at that. I'm going straight for the center of the roll. It's the only way. I put a little bib on because I didn't know what could actually like dribble off of this. There's so much ooey goodness happening between the blueberry and the uh, cream cheese icing. But here we go. First bite. Wow. Holy moly, this is great. Oh, look at that. That cinnamon roll is a definite like 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. I mean, I haven't had a 10 out of 10 cinnamon roll, but I don't think there's perfect things in life. So there's not a 10 out of 10 cinnamon roll. And uh, I would get it again yeah, anytime I come here for brunch. The only thing is, is one day I'd like to try it without the blueberry. Like without the blueberry, see if that's possible. And just have a traditional cinnamon roll. I might have made a mistake ordering a actual entree along with this giant cinnamon roll because there's no way I'm going to be able to finish this and still eat something else here. So we're going to need to take a break after this. We're going to need to take a break. <laughs> I asked for a to-go box because I didn't want to just waste it and I figured I'd take it home and it's almost as big as the to-go box. And guess what? I still have more to put in there. Look at this. <laughs> this is like insane holy moly I can't I'm not gonna shake it off I'm trying to get it all in there that is huge that literally takes up almost the whole entire box that is incredible luckily I went with the pancakes and it's not a very big meal in fact they're kind of very thin pancakes very very thin pancakes and I'm not gonna say I like them I'm not gonna say I love thin pancakes they're actually advertised as fluffy pancakes yeah they are fluffy buttermilk pancakes and the waffles are light and crispy I won't say it you can break my arm if you want I like to take little corner pieces of all three pancakes or two pancakes. I think it's I think it's a better bite that way. So here we go. We're gonna get the thinny thin pancakes a little test. They kind of remind me of the time my brother tried to make pancakes for me with just water. And it was like a uh, special pancake batter that you needed other ingredients in. And I was like, it's not going to work because you're using just water. And we didn't have any other ingredients. And he was like, yeah, they'll be fine. And it was just like like a milk. It, it, like the, once you add in the flour, it was just like pouring out a liquid on a griddle. That's what these pancakes remind me of. The flavor's still there. And I'm kind of assuming that if they do advertise them as like fluffy buttermilk pancakes, then maybe the batter is just a little watered down, a little too much. Or oh, maybe, maybe that's just the way they are. I mean, I'm not necessarily knocking them because they taste pretty good. I'm just saying they're a little thin. They're just a little thin. Brunch was so good. And like I said, the cinnamon roll stole the show. Uh, but now we have to go and grab pup cakes for Gracie Girl and then probably head home. I love sprinkles. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's the actual theme song to Sprinkles. They have their own theme song. We can now officially add the pupcakes to our bag of goodies here. <laughs> I hope they're not damaged. Oh no, they're good. They hold in place. That's a good box. The most beautiful dog on earth, Gracie girl. You want pupcake? What'd you do today, huh? Oh yeah, who's a good girl? I present to you, Gracie, one cupcake. There you go. Flip it over. She always flips it over and eats the bottom first. 
What a gentle girl. Well, in a random uh, change in events, uh, we're gonna actually go back to Disney Springs and go to the movies. My friends uh, just randomly asked if I wanted to go see a movie and I was like, yeah, I just left Disney Springs. I just got home and I gave Gracie a cupcake and I was like, but I'll go back and meet ya. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're heading back to Disney Springs and I don't know, I figured I'd just bring the vlog along with me a little bit longer. Might as well show you what it's like to go uh, see a movie here at uh, Walt Disney World. I love this theater. Uh, and I think we're going to go see the uh, Bob Marley uh, movie uh, about his life. Uh, so that's going to be a cool movie to see. If you ever come to Disney Springs for the movies, they always have a separate uh, little security entrance up here. I can't show you, but uh, it's really nifty because... Uh, that's the main one, and this one's usually no one's ever here. And it drops you off, like, kind of right next to AMC and Everglades Donuts there. Like, its own separate entrance. This is actually really convenient. Look, this is where it takes you. Right here. You literally walk down, you're right next to Everglades, you can grab some donuts before you head in the movie. But literally, the movie theater is right there. I don't know, I might want to get a snack. I actually really love coming to the movies, but the past uh, couple movies I haven't liked that much. I came, I saw Madame Web, I wasn't the biggest fan of that. Um, what are the other movies I saw? Uh, I, I came, I saw The Iron Claw, and uh, what was the other? Oh, I came and saw Soul when they re-released Soul. In fact, I think they're re-releasing uh, uh, the uh, Red movie. Uh, turning red here. Oh, yeah, they're doing that so you can see turning red here I've already had cookies today from Gideon's and a cinnamon roll From Summer House, but now I'm gonna see if I can get a cookie to take into the movie From Summer House. I didn't want to get a cookie earlier because they don't have any cookies of the month like any a special flavor But I'll never turn down a good oatmeal scotchy I ended up getting an oatmeal scotchy, but I was tempted to get this one Rice Krispie treat. It's a chocolate chip cookie, but a Rice Krispie treat. Well, I'm happy with mine. Oh, hi, how are ya? <laughs> I got the uh, oatmeal scotchy cookie, and honestly, if you take this in there, it's not like you could do anything about it because you've just been shopping at the shopping plaza, Disney Springs, we'll see. I'm pretty sure they allow you as long as it's in a, as long as you as long as you bring it with a Disney Springs bag, it's allowed to go in. Yeah. But here we are, AMC. The cookies have made it through. Uh, what was it? Eighteen dollars for the one drink. It was very expensive, but we got drinks and Twizzlers to snack on, on top of the cookies. Yeah, look, he's putting the butter right down into the middle of the bucket. The butter's going right down the center in the straw. Is that not smart? They always have like the main movie out right now and it's Dune. And this theater is like the best movie theater I've ever been to. The, the Dolby Cinema one here at AMC. I love it. But I think Bob Marley, one love has been out for a while. Who's doing push-ups over there? Is that Jason? No. Oh. I just get it in there. Should we all do push-ups? I mean... I admire him. One love, man. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait for Deadpool and Wolverine. I really feel like Deadpool is going to fix, the, save the MCU. Well, that was a good movie. I liked it, right? It was very nice. I'm glad that we got to sit down. I didn't film anything in the theater because we literally got there. Just about uh, right as the, the previews were, yeah, right as the, the movie was starting. The yeah, and it was really cozy. It was nice. I had the cookie in there. I ate my little uh, oatmeal scotchy. How are your cookies? Good. Oh, yeah. That was nice. That was good. I needed that. I've spent all day at Disney Springs today, and now I think I'm about to go get dinner here. About to go get some pizza from Pizza Ponte. Oh, there it is. The big Roman, seven dollars and fifty cents. Yeah. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get cold slices. I like them cold. Yeah. 
I love the pizza, pizza ponte. It's the size of my head, look at that. Holy moly, $7.50 for the Big Roman. The pizza is exactly what I needed. And now I feel a little bit better. Just got to watch a movie. And uh, I think we're going to keep the night going and do something fun. A little adventure. Because uh, we're going to go up in the uh, balloon. We're going to see Disney Springs from the air. You can go up uh, 400 feet in the air. And it only costs uh, $29.99. And then children are $24.99. I think I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. The big balloon that is like the symbol for Disney Springs right here. Isn't that so cool? We're going to go up on it and see all of Disney Springs and maybe even see some fireworks. Oh no, we're past that fireworks time. So, <laughs> But first we have to sign some waivers. Got to sign away all of our uh, liabilities. <laughs> you got to sign waivers <laughs> and take a photo of yourself. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, this isn't a hot air balloon, you know. Most people can, like, confuse it with a hot air balloon, but that's just all helium in there, I think. And you're just controlled by that one main uh, rope. rope that goes up and down. It's just controlled. So it's just like one yeah. big balloon from Publix. Yeah, it's like one big Publix balloon. Without that little rope keeping you down, you just go. You drift away. Oh, that's a little scary. Well, I mean, it's a big, big thing. I mean, yeah. wow, this is so cool. I'm excited. It kind of gets more intense when you get closer. Yeah, as you get like closer, it's getting yeah. bigger and bigger in person. Look at that. This is not what I expected to do after AMC. It's now just land. I know. Let's go see a movie. Oh, look at they're coming in hot. That's gonna be us soon. Coming in hot. Thank you. Wow, we're doing it, guys. It might be just us, huh, fellas? Let's hope so. Oh. I saw some, some rowdy other guests. We'll see. We might get lucky. Oh, my Lord. Oh. Huh? We're off the ground. Perfect. You guys want to go the rest of the way a little faster? Yeah. Great. Let's speed ahead. Here we go. Take me up, Mo. Make sure you stay spread out, guys. We love the force. We're not taking the force. We have the question. If anything goes wrong, your parachute's under your seat. Huh? Oh, I can see Spaceship Earth. Wow, this is so cool. Right? Do you see it, Epcot? <laughs> wow, this is great. We're soaring, we're flying. Oh. oh, that stop was a rough one. Oh, I'm not, oh my lord. It is windy up here. Stop <laughs> jumping. It's really windy. It looks like. We're leaning. <laughs> wow, what a beautiful view. This is gorgeous up here. Oh boy. Little bump, little bump. I just want to feel something. <laughs> yeah, holy moly, it's turning into a ride. All right, come on, hang tight, guys. We're swinging. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Holy moly! Hang on. 
Wow, there's all of Disney Springs down there. The Boathouse, Saratoga. I love it. Oh, we made it back. Thank you so much. The balloon ride was a great idea. I had so much fun. Now I feel so alive. I feel so hyped up. I think I'm gonna go home and go to bed. <laughs> I think I'm calling it a night. I am all like, oh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm pooped though, I'm pretty tired. So, uh, well, I guess technically since we already seen Gracie, uh, I guess uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. So we'll see you next time. Bye.